Unit 3 Events and Festivals Learning Outcomes After we have studied the unit, we will be able to talk about events and festivals. Ask and answer questions and give opinions in a logical sequence. Infer meanings from the context. Unit 3 Lesson 3 and 4 International Mother Language Day When is the International Mother Language Day? Why is the day so important to us? What happened on 21st February in 1952? Click to know about our language movement. Bangla language has a glorious history. Before independence, Bangladesh was a part of Pakistan and was known as East Pakistan. In 1948, Muhammad Ali Zidna, the Governor General of Pakistan, declared that Urdu would be the only official language of Pakistan. This caused huge satisfaction among the people of East Pakistan and they burst with non-stop protest. The government put ban on all sorts of meetings and processions. On 21st February 1952, people defied the law and came out with a procession. The brutal Pakistani rulers shot at the procession and our valiant souls died for our mother tongue. Next day, students built the first Shohid Minar. Each year, we celebrate Ekushe February as a tribute to the sacrifice of our language martyrs. Read the text in Section B in Lesson 3 and say whether the following statements are true or false. Click on the false button for correct statements. Fill up the gaps with the following words in their suitable form. In 1948, West Pakistan tried to suppress our mother tongue, Bangla, and establish Urdu as the state language of East Pakistan, Bangladesh. The Bangla speakers were furious and extensive protests began. As a result, the government put a ban on public meetings and rallies. On 21st February 1952, thousands of students defied the law and gathered on the campus of the University of Dhaka to begin a rally. This ended in bloodshed as the army fired on the students and activists and dozens of them were killed. This led to even more unrest and finally in 1956, Bangla was given the status of official language. It was the result of the utmost sacrifice of the language martyrs of 21st February 1952. Their sacrifice has taught us how to raise voice against all oppressions and live with dignity. Listen to the history of Shohid Minar and choose the correct answers from the alternatives. The Pakistani rulers shot on the procession of the students on 21st February 1952 and killed many of them. Next day, after the funeral procession, students' leaders decided to make a monument at the place where people were shot. A medical college student 
Budiul Islam sketched the shape of a monument and they worked for the whole night to build it. By 23rd February, the students completed the first Shaheed Minar. The next morning, people came like a wave to honor. Some were trying to help with money. Even some women gave their ornaments. On 25th February 1952, people of Taka were having strike. Every private and public institution, shops were closed. On 26th February, Pakistani army sealed the Taka University area, including student hostels. They also attacked on students. Not only that, they destroyed our first martyr's monument. After two years, a new Shahid Minar, Monument of Martyrs, was constructed in 1954. Later, in 1957, the construction of Shahid Minar started with design of architect Hamidur Rahman. The imposition of martial law in 1958 interrupted the work. The monument was completed in 1963. Language martyr Barkat's mother, Hasina Begum, inaugurated it on 21st February in the same year. Later, during the Liberation War, the Pakistani forces demolished the monument again, but the Bangladeshi government reconstructed it in 1973. Drag phrases from column A and put in column B to make complete sentences. We have a glorious history of our mother language. Many people say that satellite channels are influencing our language and culture. Do you agree with this? Why or why not? Talk with your friends and write a paragraph on it.